scarred by Mother Nature, Tuesday snow snuck up on city crews. Good evening, I'm Brandy Peterson. I'm Rob McCartney. Today, city council members and the mayor addressed slick streets across many neighborhoods. KATV News Watch Heaven's Alexander Stone is live with what they're saying in our big story at six. City council members are calling for a review of Omaha's public works today, saying the city can do better. This afternoon, Mayor Jean Stothert says they didn't make the wrong call on Monday, and public works tells me today that pre-treating the roads may not have made a difference. Oh, I don't think that wrong steps were taken. The mayor says the city couldn't have done anything differently to prevent slick streets Tuesday morning. Could we have started any earlier? Um, at earlier, there wasn't any indication to really start earlier um, because up until about 10 o'clock, uh, we weren't supposed to be getting the wet snow. These copies of forecasts show what the city knew Monday night. Quote, light snow and drizzle are expected and, quote, slickness is not expected. The city says these forecasts from two private consultants helped them make a plan, a plan that didn't have ice in the picture that is, until late Monday. We could go out and, and salt roads and treat roads and bring crews in when it's not indicated. Um, but, you know, that, that's quite a waste of taxpayer money to do that. Pre-treating doesn't prevent refreezing. Salt trucks hit the streets at midnight Tuesday after the city says the forecast changed. But it was too late to prevent ice-covered roads at rush hour. A lot of frustration, a lot of complaints. A lot of us experienced the same thing trying to do our morning commutes. And a lot of us didn't see many trucks in our areas. I think that's common amongst council members. So we want to have that review and ask how the city can do better next time. Festerson and other council members want to sit down with Public Works, asking for answers about what went wrong during this week's winter weather. Answers Ben Gray says the city hasn't given. What I hear now, in my judgment, are excuses, not reasons. Festerson says city council members are working to set up that review with Public Works for sometime early next week. As for the weather consultants the city uses, it pays $8,000 per year per agency to get that information. Reporting live, Alexandra Stone, KETV News Watch 7. Back to you.